never thought that somebody would do this for me and <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today video is a very special video because it's about you guys, it's about the community, it's about me, Patreon, it's about everything and I hope you guys will like it. Stay tuned to the end, I will announce a draw this in your style which I'm very excited to do because I want to celebrate our little community and it will be great. So last week I actually got a package in the mail and I didn't expect anything, I just thought that was somebody like sending me stuff for because they wanted to send me stuff and I knew it was one of my patrons as well so I was like okay cool and they told me to film it on camera and I was like yeah sure I can do that and I was planning on doing that for my vlog channel however this is what happened when I opened it oh wow <gasps> it's what what they made me a book expect this at all oh my god I didn't expect this at all I didn't think this was what was in I thought it was just somebody <laughs> thank you guys so much so in short there's so many minutes of me just talking and crying about the book and I can still cry about the book but I have cried enough <laughs> so I'm going to talk more about this while you watch me draw because I don't want to bore you with my face have a nice time and as you can already tell this is not going to be a draw with me video and I apologize for everyone who really really enjoys those really long videos but I do have a solution for you if you do want to hang out with me for 12 hours I'm actually doing a patreon stream on twitch on Saturday which means tomorrow for you guys the 15th of June I will be live from 7 a.m. until 7 p.m. that's UK time so I think everyone should be able to come and join me whenever they are able to and and come chat with me and that will be an extended draw with me sort of but you can still you can talk with me so it'd be a little bit different so i just wanted to let you guys know that this is the part of the video where i will be rambling on for a while so i hope you guys have got something to do or there's something you want to draw or be creative with and i thought since it's the beginning of the video i will just announce right now that we're doing a draw this in your style and the art that you're seeing is a part of that i thought i would say that here so that people can kind of take out their sketchbooks and maybe sketch along with me while i'm creating the art i don't know i thought it was a good idea so the way you're doing it is pretty much you're going to take either ones of the drawings that I'm doing. I'm drawing Sieve and I'm also drawing Kit. And I thought I would have two separate ones because people either like to draw animals or humans or both. So you can either draw one of them or you can draw both of them. You can draw them in the same picture. You can draw them full body, just a headshot, just anything you want as long as it's kit or sieve and it's kind of a draw this in your style and i'm going to feature everyone in a later video that will be an extra video and i will also feature the best ones on my instagram honestly i just thought this would be a cool cool awesome way to give back to the community because you guys are supporting me with comments and views and just likes and i don't know everything and the only way I know how to give back is to feature your amazing art and how creative everyone is and you guys keep telling me how inspired you get by just watching me draw and you guys should know how much you guys inspire me to continue to create. I don't think if I didn't have a YouTube channel and an Instagram or like some sort of community that kind of responded to me and you were part of what I was doing, I don't think I would have continued to post as often as I do right now. And also, I don't think social media, <laughs> which is really weird to say, would be my job. So mainly this video is about the community and you guys, but also just the patrons who decided to gather together all these people who wanted to do an art book, art book just specifically with like fan art for me and I thought well they did that and I'm sure other people would like to be a part of it so doing 
draw this in your style is kind of your my way of kind of including everyone on this little let's celebrate one year on patreon or let's celebrate just two years on on youtube i don't know it's just a fun way to celebrate and i think just the the fact that they made this was just it just shows how much the community cares. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking about that now. And I thought something that could be cool would be me talking about my history and how I've started like YouTube, how I started Patreon, how I kind of begun everything. Because right now, if you come and join me and this is the first video you watch of me, for example, you would think that this is how it's always been. But growing social media, growing communities takes time and I've been doing this for a really, really long time and that's why we're going to talk a little bit about history here. Well, not history, just I'm going to tell you about myself, which is kind of bold, but I don't know. We're doing it. So it all started when I started posting on D DeviantArt a while back, I think over 10 years ago now. And I just loved doing that, I loved having people come to my art, I was commenting on everyone else's art, and it was kind of just a tiny, tiny community, and I know there was probably bigger ways of connecting with people in DeviantArt, but I just did commissions, I chatted with people, it was really, really nice. So already then I knew that the online scene for art and artists and people who just wanted to be creative was really really big and really important because you wanted to do more you wanted to post more you want to create more and when you don't have those people around you that are interested in art and just the same things that you are then going online is the best place to find connections and friends it's sort of weird how i consider so many people that i've never met face to face real friends on the internet it's kind of weird and i think some people would say that's not real friends but honestly i think they are i don't think i ever got that popular on demon art i did some creature stuff which was pretty popular but i was never really important if you would say it that way and i don't think you need to be to be posting online and being creative i think you just have to start and that was what happened with YouTube. I actually got my first job as a concept artist in the studio. And after nine months in that job, I decided to start taking YouTube seriously. I didn't have that many um, subscribers. I decided just to start taking it seriously and start doing voiceovers, start learning and just slowly grow from there. And that's what I did. I think it was just a mix of finding people who were doing YouTube and I didn't know about this community before. When I was doing Divan art before, I didn't know there was a YouTube community of artists who were pretty much doing the YouTube thing that I've seen people do before, but with art. And it was just kind of this epiphany, oh, you can do this. So I started doing it and I was watching a lot of <laughs> actually drawing with waffles and Lavender Town. And uh, I just thought that they can do it, I can do it, and I started doing it. And that's what I want to say to everyone who wants to start YouTube. I think you just have to start with it. And if you go look back at my old videos, the ones that were in the beginning, you can hear that I'm not confident and I didn't like the sound of my voice. It was a whole thing. I still don't like the sound of my voice. But you grow with confidence. It's a process as everything. And that's it. it's been the process with, the process with Instagram, YouTube, Patreon, and Discord. I think after a year of posting YouTube videos, I decided that I wanted to go freelance. Um, which for me wasn't as stressful as maybe other people would see it because I was a concept artist and getting concept art freelance jobs was a lot easier than doing illustration. So I knew that I had a safety net if I needed it. But I did actually decide to just focus on YouTube and I made my Kickstarter for Grey Legs. If you want to look into that more, there's lots of videos on my channel, me vlogs talking about it. Um, but I was seriously losing money for half a year after I went freelance last year. And that's exactly a year since now. So that's sort of why I'm doing this video because it's, it's a year in review. Can you say that? Yeah, I think you can. And I think the moment I started freelance, quit my job, I started a Patreon and I had no idea what I was doing. I was really stressed about it because you don't know what you can offer, you don't know what you will be able to keep up with and I, I was especially nervous about the postcard because I really wanted to do that but posting out letters every month is really nerve-wracking and kind of stressful but 
after a year now, I've, I've learned what I can handle. I've learned how to, yeah, have things worth their money. <laughs> so each tier kind of, it, it's worth what you're paying for it. So it's, it's a process of trial and error. It's not like you would start a Patreon and it would be perfect. I think also a lot of people like when you've been on Patreon for a while and you see a lot of posts. So even if you don't have that many Patreons, if you made one, then just keep posting. And when people can see that, oh, there's like 20 posts in here, I guess I'll sign up and I can see all those posts. So that's a really big plus if you just continue to, to post. And I think for me, it was... It, actually, when I started, the postcard tier was still $15, but you only got a postcard. Right now, you get two stickers and you also get the creature collectible card, which I think was a selling point for my Patreon. So I started offering those in January. And since then, my Patreon has just grown significantly and people are just joining left and right and I don't know what to do with everyone. So I made a Discord group and that's where my whole intimate community I feel started. I also think it had like a little bit to do with me starting Twitch as well where people could actually come from my YouTube channel to come and chat with me and I love doing YouTube but I can't possibly like reply to all the comments even though I read every single one I promise you guys I do I just can't find the time to reply to all of them and I feel really sad about it but then again, if you do want to chat with me, if you do want to ask me questions, come to my streams and we can kind of have a, a little conversation. So that's on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. The link is down below and also the party stream tomorrow. I'm just reminding you again. I think that kind of built the community even more. Um, Discord is free to sign up and just make your own server. So you can make your own community. You can start it right now and just start inviting people and friends that you like. And if you meet somebody on Instagram, for example, or even art, you can give them the link and you can start gathering your own people, your little community. It doesn't have to be through YouTube. It doesn't have to be through any specific social media. You can just make it and just be consistent. Keep posting, keep creating, be happy with your little community and it will grow. And I think that's my final tip for this video. And I just don't know what I'm talking about for the last... 10 minutes but i hope you guys enjoyed the art this is the final two pieces for this draw this in your style i'm super super excited to see what you can, guys can come up with again you can use any media digital traditional it can be both the characters one of the characters together separate full body whatever you can come up with to join in the challenge or draw this in your style, please tag these two tags, which is draw this in your style and also the anniversary one on Instagram and on Twitter. And I will find you and I'll put you in the video and I'll also feature the best ones on Twitter and Instagram. If you have made it to the end of this video, to this part where I'm doing a flip through of Happy anniversary by my patrons and my Twitch friends, I just say community because they're pretty much just the symbol of my little community and I absolutely love everyone that's in this. And I have taped out some of the names just to make sure that people, if people didn't want to have their names kind of displayed. There is a social media name though that I have left open. So if you are curious who they all are, you can go find them on Instagram or Twitter. I will also link them all in the description box down below. And as you can see, they're all amazingly talented. And I am just, every time I look through these, I, I just start crying and I, I can't really do it. <laughs> I'm, I'm still amazed how secret they managed to keep this. Nobody spilled the beans, if you want to say that. Uh, nobody ever slipped anything. That's why when I opened the package, I was so surprised. That's why I started crying, because it hit me the moment I saw all the different art. I, I, I just... From the start, when I opened it, I was like, oh, it's just a nice art on the front. Oh, it's just a sketchbook. Oh, wait, there's more art in here. Oh, wait, this is all of my patrons and people I know. And it's funny because I've built this community. Well, I, I say I've built it, but this community happens. And I feel like all of the people that you see in this book have even either just been on stream or they're just... Um, come to my Patreon Discord and we've been chatting and I know them all. I know them all by name and I, I love that. I love that part of this 
community and I seriously encourage you to come over to my Twitch or my Patreon if you want to support me there. It only is only one dollar if you want to be in the Discord group but you really don't have to. I think commenting, being active, just being there in this, the community, especially on Twitch, you don't have to pay anything. Just coming to hang out and chat and draw is just the biggest gift that I could ever get from anyone and again I love this community I love YouTube I love Instagram <laughs> I love just being in this world with so many people who wants to do art and want to be engaging and like I don't I don't have to I don't have to explain it I don't have the words and I think you guys can tell so that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much to my patrons and my friends for making this happen and i will see you guys next week bye bye